What's up, everybody? I just want to make a video on the widows and the orphans. James 127 says, True religion, true worship is caring for the widows and the orphans. And I want to shout out my brothers and sisters out in Pakistan. Spirit of, Spirit of Truth Ministries, I believe. For caring for the orphans. They care for the orphans. And I want to say that, you know, here in America and all across the world, there are so many that ruin it for other people. There are so many that are frauds. So many that just stand on the corner acting like they're homeless just because they need money for drugs here in America and probably in other countries. And so many people know that so many people do this. And so many people don't give because of that reason. They know that so many people are scammers. And I've been scammed before from overseas. I've been scammed before by a guy in Uganda, in Africa. And out of the goodness of my heart, I tried to help this guy out. I sent him stuff. I sent him food and shoes and a bunch of stuff in a package. But ended up realizing that I got scammed. But there are so many people out here that actually need the help. And there are so many people out here in other countries other than the U.S. that need the help that are actually doing the good work of God that are actually hosting that actually have orphanages that actually need the help and I came across a ministry recently like a I believe it's a spirit of truth ministries Pakistan and I've been talking to these people recently And by God's grace, was able to bless them. And uh, I'll just say that I was able to bless them. But there are some true people of God out here that really need some help. That are really, that really have orphanages. That really have different ministries that need help. But unfortunately, the way it is in America, in America we have everything. Not all of us have everything. Matter of fact, I'm pretty poor. My car is broken down. In order to help out different stuff, and basically, I'm 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 pretty broke myself. I'm pretty poor myself. But when I see a need, I do my best to help out. But so many people, Lord help me. Oh, bakaradakata. So many people, because of all the scammers, just don't give. They're, they're, they're just not willing to give to anybody. Because of all the scammers. The way I look at it. I look at it in the opposite way. Say, I, I say I'd rather be scammed. By some people. And other, 
in order to help the other people that really need help out, to help them out. And it's sad that it's come to that point that there's so many scammers that the people that really need help don't get help. So I, I would just say to anybody who, who is listening to this, if you see people that need help, don't just look at them as scammers. Don't just look at them as as people that are just trying to trying to trying to make money. Just just doing it for themselves, just just trying to make money for drugs, just just, just trying to make money for themselves. But realize that there are so many other people out here that actually need your help. That actually need our help. That aren't getting our help. Because of the scammers and because of the mind state of the people that, you know, as I said, the mind, their mind state has been changed because of all the scammers. Give to those in need. And back to the scripture, James 1.27. True religion is helping... Is taking care of, uh, depending on translation, taking care of or visiting the widows and the orphans. That's true religion. James, the brother of Jesus, said true religion is helping out the orphans and the widows. That's who really needs it the most. And there are so many orphanages out here. There's so many widows out here that need help. That need help. And who, who else is going to help besides the people of God? Who else? Yeah, there, there might be people and someone standing on the corner with a sign. You ride by, you, you give them some money. And God bless you for that. But, oh man, it just tears up my heart that the people who are taking advantage of it are ruining it for the people that truly need it. And what I'm saying is, don't let the people who take advantage of it ruin it for the people that truly need it. Don't let that deter you from giving away, from helping people in need. Because there's a lot of people in need. And it's, shoot, there's, e there's even, you know, like I said, a lot of people out here here in America and probably in other countries standing on the corner because they need money for drugs. Yeah, they're still in need. But they really need Jesus. But there are people in this country and in other countries that don't have food to eat. They don't have electricity. They don't have water. There are so many people in need. And, and yes, we need to use discernment. Because there are so many people taking advantage of it. And, you know, there's, there's people that are, that are, that will stand up, stand out on the corner around here. You know, I live like an hour from D.C. There's people that will stand, stand out on the corner and, uh, Then, then go and change their clothes and get back into a Mercedes. And that's ridiculous. Lord, I pray that re they repent. I, I don't even want to call your curse upon them. But I pray that they would repent. I pray that they would repent because there's so many other people in need. 
Oh, Bacarada. There's so many other people in need. Oh my gosh. Bacarada Katata. Oh, Bacarada Katata Katata. Lord, I pray that anyone that is in need in the in this whole entire world, I pray that you would provide for the needs and 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 more specifically, I mean everybody, Lord, but more specifically for the orphanages, for the widows, uh, the 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 women, and and even the men that that. That they may have lost their wives and women that lost their husbands, and that and they're struggling, and they're really struggling. They they don't have food to eat. They don't have. They're not able to. They they're homeless. They they might. Whatever situation they're in, Lord, I I just pray that you would would provide for the lost people. Or for the for the struggling people and and. God, I pray for the for all the lost people in this world. Show us how to reach them, God. Lord, I, I pray that you show us how to reach them. Most of all, to reach them with your gospel. Most of all, to reach them with the truth of your word. Most of all, to reach them with the Son of God and the truth of the cross. Lord, and I also pray for, for provisions. I pray for provisions for any, specifically in this case, God, I pray for pr provisions for any and all true orphanage ministries out here. That you would provide for them. That all the kids would know you. That you would provide food for them that you would provide electricity for them the for the for the heat for the cold that you would provide water for them you know this really humbled me today I was able to and not eat and not easily able to. I took out a cash advance from my from my next paycheck and I, I'm struggling right now. I, I have a broken down car. I owe a lot of money. I owe my mother money. But there's an there's an orphanage in Pakistan. There's some people of God in Pakistan. And they're in the orphanage. The power was cut off five, six days ago. The water was cut off five, six days ago. And these people were trying to reach out to me. They were trying to get me on a call, on, on, on Facebook call, which I never answer the Facebook calls and stuff. I've had different people try to reach me out, and try to Facebook call me and stuff. I, I, never, I never answered them. I mean, because most of the time it's, you know, I don't know. See either some scammers or some weird stuff, but but I check these people out. They are legit. They are servants of God. They have a ministry and an orphanage in Pakistan. And the power has been out. The power on the water has been cut off from this orphanage. They they got like probably like twenty kids. 
in his orphanage in Pakistan. And God provided me a way to, to be able to bless them. But what, what really got me What really got me is is the woman messaged me and she'll probably she'll probably watch this. And God bless you, sister. God bless you, brother, uh, your your husband or who whoever that is and, and the other pastor. God bless you all. But really what really got me is that she messaged me and said they're fasting for me. For me. And if you watch this, and I'm going to message you as well. Don't fast for me. So the fasting today for me. Them and, and, and the kids in the orphanage that fasting for me. Don't fast for me. Not me. I'm nobody. I really, really, I'm nobody. I'm, I'm, I'm just some, some guy from VA. You know, I'm, I'm some guy from... The United States, it just, uh, I'm not worthy of anything. Fast for God. If you watch this, change that fast. Even though you're trying to respect me and honor me for doing, for doing what I did, and and don't honor me, honor God. He's who did it. He's who told me to did, to do it. He's who provided me a way to do it. Fast for God. Fast for Him. It's not me. None of this is me. I respect that gesture, but no, it's not me. If you're fasting at all, fast for God. Fast for deliverance. Fast for, for uh, you know, deliverance from whatever y'all, any anybody in there is dealing with. Whether the pastors or the kids or whatever y'all are dealing with. Put that to God. It's not me. Not, don't, 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 don't look at me. Don't look at me. I'm nothing. I'm just a servant. A unworthy servant at that. So let me, I guess, go ahead and close this off, but, uh, I'll say to everybody, don't be afraid to give. Don't be afraid if anybody reaches out, out to you from another country or if, if anybody which reaches out to you here, here in the United States. Don't be afraid to give. Don't be afraid to get, go to God for it. Ask God for a direction for it. But don't be afraid to give because, you know, the, don't let the scammers... Don't let the people that are taking advantage of it ruin it for the people that really need it. And that's what's really on my heart right now. And I believe that's what, what part of what God is uh, putting in my heart right now to speak. Don't let the people that take advantage of it ruin it for the people that really need it. And so I love you. Love you guys. Uh, God bless you guys. And... And I hope to be on that call with you guys. And well, it, it'll be in the morning for me. It'll be a five in the afternoon for you, for you guys. Uh, whoever may watch this, uh, I mean, Shamal. Uh, I, I don't know how to pronounce your name. Sh Shamal Shamal. Sister, uh, uh, if you watch this, hope.
hope to be on that call with you guys. Uh, they, they want me to, to get on a call, uh, on a video call with the with the orphans and and stuff like that. It, it's crazy. This is so crazy to me, and and it and it, it just blew my mind that, that, that they're fasting for me. Like what? Like oh my gosh! Like this is blowing my mind. But let's be true servants of God. Let's serve Him with all our heart, all our soul, and all our strength. All our might. Let's be humble servants. Jesus is coming soon. So are your lamps filled with oil? We are the lamps. The oil is the Holy Spirit. We need to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Oh, man, we need to be filled up with the Holy Spirit. And no matter what we go through in this life, we need to stay on His track. We need to stay walking in His way. We need to stay on the straight and narrow path. Let's be humble and blameless before Him. Let's walk in all His ways. And if anybody doesn't have a relationship with Jesus, turn to Him. Jesus loves you. He wants to give you eternal life. And if you're willing to truly turn to him and ask him to forgive you, he will forgive you. He'll give you the Holy Spirit. And he will give you eternal life. Repent and believe the gospel. Give your life to Jesus today. He loves you. God loves you. Repent and believe the gospel. That's the end of this study. End of this video. But shout out to Spirit of Truth Ministries out in Pakistan. Good people. Loving people. And support them. Support them. And, and uh, maybe I'll put a link for them. A link to support them in the video. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll probably forget it. I'll probably forget to do that. But Sister Shamal, uh, you can remind me. But I love you. I love all the other people on there. I don't know if that's your husband uh, and the other pastor. Keep doing the good work of God. Don't stop. No matter how, how hard it gets, do not stop doing the work of God. You never know how many people you are reaching. Even, even, even with myself. And I'm nobody. But it may seem like you're reaching nobody. It may seem like you're reaching... I don't, I don't know how many people, but... You never know how many people you are reaching. With your ministry, you may be reaching... Ultimately, all of Pakistan. You never know. You never know how it's going to spread. You never know how that seed that is planted is going to grow and spread. You don't know. Keep doing the good work of God. I love you guys. And I love all you guys. Thank y'all for tuning in. Shalom.